In the shadowed tapestry of history, the solar eclipse has carved its mark as a harbinger of war, an architect of fear, and a whisperer of omens across the expanse of time. From the mystic realms of ancient civilizations to the enlightened corridors of the modern era, these celestial spectacles have transcended their astronomical origins, emerging as potent symbols of cataclysm, transformation, and rebirth. Journey with us as we venture into the enigmatic gloom of eclipsed suns and veiled lands, on a quest to unravel the arcane mysteries and ancient prophecies entwined with the solar eclipse. What seismic events have rippled through history in the wake of these darkened days? What cryptic messages have been etched into the annals of time, foretelling the impact of these celestial shadows? And how do these age-old auguries connect to the here and now? Embark on this exploration of cosmic enigmas, where the past collides with the present. And you'll want to stick around to the end because the climactic revelations of one of history's most revered seers concerning the impending solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, promises to leave the world astounded, teetering on the brink of revelation and possible revolution. Welcome to Impending Doom prophecies of the solar eclipse. In ancient China, the solar eclipse was believed to be a dragon devouring the sun, prompting loud noises and clamor to scare the beast away. The solar eclipse has always had a profound impact on the human psyche, influencing kings and commoners alike, and leading to decisions that have altered the course of history. The most famous instance of a solar eclipse observed during a battle is the eclipse of Thales, which occurred on May 28, 585 BCE. This solar eclipse is notable for its occurrence during a battle between the Lydians and the Medes, who were engaged in a long-standing conflict. According to the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, the sudden darkening of the day due to the solar eclipse was interpreted by the battling parties as a sign from the gods to cease their conflict. The eclipse led to an immediate cessation of hostilities, and peace negotiations began, resulting in a treaty that ended the war. This event is particularly significant in the historical record as it represents one of the earliest documented predictions of a solar eclipse by the Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus, demonstrating an early scientific understanding of celestial events. The eclipse of Thales is not only a fascinating story of how a natural phenomenon can impact human affairs, but also marks a moment in history where astronomy played a crucial role in the outcome of human events. The solar eclipse on August 2nd, 1133, was a significant celestial event, visible from England and interpreted by many as an omen. During the medieval period, eclipses, comets, and other unusual astronomical phenomena were often seen as portents of doom, signaling divine displeasure with rulers or nations. Henry I died in 1135, two years after the eclipse. He had named his daughter, Matilda, his successor, but upon his death, his nephew Stephen of Bois seized the throne, leading to a civil war known as the Anarchy. The conflict was characterized by a breakdown in law and order across England, with barons building castles without permission, leading to widespread devastation and hardship for the common people. This period lasted from 1135 until 1153, ending with the ascension of Henry II, Matilda's son, to the throne and the restoration of peace. World War I, often called the Great War at the time, began in July 1914, 
following the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. This event set off a chain reaction of alliances and treaties being invoked, leading to a conflict that engulfed much of Europe and the world. On August 21, 1914, a solar eclipse covered Eastern Europe in darkness, a region that would become a significant theater of conflict in the ensuing war. The timing and visibility of the eclipse contributed to its interpretation as an ominous sign, reflecting the widespread anxiety and the sense of an impending cataclysm that permeated the European continent at the time. In an era when superstition still played a significant role in people's worldviews, even alongside scientific understanding, such celestial events could easily be imbued with symbolic meaning. The connection between solar eclipses and prophecy is as old as time itself. Nostradamus, the famed 16th century seer, wrote cryptic quatrains that many believe predict future events, including celestial phenomena like eclipses. While Nostradamus did not explicitly mention solar eclipses, his quatrains do mention a few predictions for this year, including the end of King Charles's reign, the death of Pope Francis, and the onsite of a new global war. The French prophet stated that Third World War would begin 79 years after the second. That puts us into 2024, with the war in Ukraine and the Middle East escalating, and the increased possibility of China's invasion of Taiwan. Nostradamus prediction is not just possible, but highly likely. As the moon blocks out the sun, the days will tick by and reveal the truth of our fate. I would love to hear your opinion. Please comment below on whether you think that Nostradamus prediction will come true, or if you believe that World War III has already begun. The curtain on our journey through the shadows cast by celestial bodies and the prophecies that foretell turmoil and transformation. A crucial understanding emerges from the darkness. While these predictions are terrifying, stirring the depths of our fears with their foreboding certainty, we must remember that fate will never be set in stone. Fate is akin to a river. At times, it may seem as though we are caught in its relentless current, hurtling toward an inevitable waterfall of destiny. Yet, there will always be moments, junctures in time where those in a position to change our course are called upon to act. It is within these critical moments that the duty falls upon us to do everything within our power to choose peace, to steer away from the precipice, and toward a future of our own making. And so, as the shadow of the moon recedes and the light returns, illuminating our path forward, we are left with a profound sense of our own agency. In the dance between light and darkness, we find not only a reflection of the universe's vast mysteries, but also of our capacity for change, for hope, and for choosing a path of peace and unity. Let us choose wisely, for ourselves, and for the generations that will follow, as we continue to gaze upward, ever in search of understanding, ever in awe of the beauty and mystery of the cosmos.